Hi all, today I am sharing you the introductory part of the anchoring script of St. Joseph's Day celebrations. Okay, this is something of my own creative writing and if you like it, uh, do give me a th thumbs up. Uh, actually for anchoring, the best part of it is uh, adding your own emotions to the words that you are uh, speaking. Okay, so I'm giving you a style. Maybe your your own style might be better, but this is my style. Okay. Welcome to this beautiful day and venue, dignitaries and all of you here. Please be seated. You are all as welcomed as the lily flowers in May. But my dear friend, this is March. I have written this in a form like two children are doing it. So listen, it is the uh, talk of the next uh, child. Yes, May is the month when lily flowers bloom. But see, March is the month of Saint Joseph, the holy personality, head of the holy family. Yes, the man of faith, hard work, justice and dreams. Lilies and Saint Joseph? What is their harmony? Look at that wooden stick Saint Joseph carries. Saint Joseph, by profession, was a carpenter. He carved wonders on wood. Those lily flowers he had carved on the wooden stick miraculously bloomed into original ones at the time of his engagement with Mother Mary. Oh. This Divine Father's Feast is observed on March 19. So we wish you all a happy St. Joseph's Day. St. Joseph is here with us. May he be with you and guide you always. Let's now seek the blessings of God Almighty and make this day divine through a prayer. I request the school choir group to lead this prayer. Everyone, please do stand up. So after this, you can go on with the usual program schedule. Okay. What makes uh, the anchoring interesting is the beginning part and the emotions conveyed by the uh, anchor. All right. So thank you.